I think I've, I've received a lot of DMs from Muslim sisters um, talking about the lack of romance from their husbands, lack of, you know, dating, whatever we call now. And I think a lot of men neglect this part of the sunnah of how the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was really romantic <coughs> to his wives, you know. Obviously, it wasn't what we see today. It's obviously different, but... You know, I think a lot of men are lacking and women are suffering at home because they're just like feeling neglected, feeling ignored, like you said, not complimentary. Um, and they feel bored with their partner. Mm -hmm. And that that's a big problem. It's dangerous. You know, and it is dangerous because mm. if your wife is continually saying she wants your attention, she mm. wants your attention, mm. she wants your attention, and you are ignoring that, that, complain ignoring that outcry mm. like you said eventually she mm. may leave or eventually she may go elsewhere that's you know true. That's true. but it is very important to to not neglect that now to make this clear this isn't about targeting a religion as i know nothing about islam i'm speaking on solely what stood out to me that is talking about being bored in relationships because of the lack of romance. It's something you hear all the time. These wives or modern women so much are being influenced by ethnism and modern females and the changes that are happening in society today that is even beginning to affect their faith and those with a certain faith that you're losing touch about what it's really about it's not about intercourse it's about building a family and being prosperous in that what you're seeing is modern females modern women have become so promiscuous it's not about tradition anymore even in marriage it's about experiencing new things, it's about doing new things. If the woman or wife isn't satisfied, ethnism is going to convince wives and modern women to get a divorce, to leave the man, to find where you can get satisfied somewhere else. Just proving why divorce rates have gone up, just proving even more why modern women and wives are the ones that are doing the divorcing more and signing up for divorces more than men are because they have all made it very clear what is the main reason for it marriage isn't just about romantic romance or mr good bar it's about building together for your family i find ethnism made modern women desire more promiscuity as it's being normalized desire more to be at a darker state of femininity that isn't traditional but they're trying to make it a part of traditional values and make it seem as if it's a huge asset or a contribution to a healthy home a healthy life and healthy children when it really doesn't contribute to any of that and the fact you'll leave because of lack of desire says a lot about you. It says a lot about anyone who will leave a marriage because of lack of desires and romance, ro romantic feels and all, all the things that is just about intercourse and experiencing new things that really doesn't actually do anything for the, for the marriage and what traditional means and what tradition actually means. So why is this behaviour being normalised? It shouldn't be normalised. Ethnism thinks equality is because men do it, that they can do it. Even though we all know it's morally incorrect, it's morally corrupt. So what is it ethnism is really pushing? What is it modern females are really pushing? Promiscuity. Especially if this is a faithful man who works hard and takes care of you and the family, romance shouldn't be the end or be or either. It's just showing modern women want to explore their promiscuous nature more than ever before. It's just showing that they want to explore promiscuity. 
and learn more about it. Find out more about it. What do I like? What 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 do I want to like? More than ever before, and ethnism is showing women how to. Ethnism is giving women opportunities for it. Ethnism is opening every door for these women to look into promiscuity and how they can find themselves in that. And that's what you're seeing. I'm your hostess, Reminent Princess. These are my last thoughts. What I find with ethnism is that they are always trying to promote what's morally incorrect because men do it more. Even though on both sides it isn't conducive for anyone. But ethnism thrives off that. That's their market, that's their brand. It's to explore these things that women and wives could never explore. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.